All right, hi, it's Daniel Murphy. We're looking at this oak tree today. It's over a fence over here. We got some trees on the other side here and over there. Now, the situation is the bucket truck's here in the driveway. We want to leave this area open so we can chip right in the street. The best place to lower it is going to be right here in the driveway. But a lot of this stuff is going to then want to swing towards the bucket. Now, plans may change and I may end up using that back lead right out there to lower into the neighbor's yard over there. But one of the things I want to talk about today is the strategy when you're in the bucket and the piece wants to swing towards the boom or towards you. There's basically three strategies I use. Number one, I will run the, the, the rope. If there's room, I'll run it underneath the boom or underneath the bucket. When it cuts, it's gonna drop and swing away. Number two, I will uh, use a shackle or a rigging ring right there in front of the cut, cut it, let it hang from that, then get out of the way, cut that last foot or two off that's got the sling on it and let it swing away like that. That might not have been very well explained, but hopefully you get, get the sense of that. And number three, sometimes I will like tip tie it or balance tie the piece and then cut from below it and let it actually swing over me. Definitely not the kind of thing that you'd want to do if you're a rookie. And actually there is a fourth one that I use from time to time, which is to pre-tension the lowering line, make the cut, get out of there, and then when the guys let a little bit of weight off the lowering line, the piece will break free and swing uh, easily past me. So, and now actually there's one more. Make the cut most of the way, then move the bucket up towards the tips, push on the tips, and break it out like that. So I guess that's five. We'll see how many we get in today on this tree. Having a number of blocks and slings and rigging rings available to set up a bunch of redirects can be very helpful. Right over the driveway here. So this one here, we just want to open up the drop zone right underneath here. So get all right, so this one's right over the boom. You can see it. I got it about balanced side. It should swing away. Just gonna rip cut it down here. Let it swing away. Once it gets past the boom, the ground man's supposed to lower. Let's see what happens? Swing right past the boom, down and away she goes. All right, this branch here, I'm gonna cut it. The tip should hang right up on that sycamore limb out there. The butt should just swing out of the way and should drop harmlessly down past the hedge here into the yard. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Come on, baby. Don't do that to me. You're embarrassing me on YouTube. I think I might have just a solution for that. Right here in my bag of tricks. Lovely. All right, this one here, tips are gonna hang up a little bit, but with this length of rope, it's gonna shore and it all swings past me by the time it comes, even though it's going to come right down next to the bucket right here. I'm going to rip cut it. Hopefully she goes smoothly. She may hang up. Let's find out. Let her down, Amy. It's all on you, buddy. Hold that. There you go. Got a new lowering point over there, off of that top crotch there. There's this piece. Take one, it's fine. Alright, so we got this piece. A good ways off the boom. It's gonna swing pretty hard over there. 
I'm gonna rip cut, rip cut it and let it come down gentle. Hopefully that's what happens. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. So here's one that's actually out well past the boom here and it's got a pretty good swing so it should be coming down pretty close to the boom. Let's see what happens. <laughs> there we go. Alright, not for the faint of heart or the rookies. So this is this one here. And it's again it's out well over the boom here. Tough to see where what's going on up there, but it should swing down pretty well. Let's get this little stuff over my head. We're gonna rip. Right So this is even a bigger branch. It's out over, well over the boom. And that rope is going up there, if you can see that. So it's going to swing on a pretty nice arc. Definitely those tips are going to brush the boom here if I leave it where it is. I'm hoping to cut it and come down before it makes that swing. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> So here's the deal on this one. There's our overhead rigging system. Got one pulley up there, high crotch, natural crotch. And then uh, taking this big hit piece here. It's got three sections to it. I could have taken one at a time, but I'm gonna take all three at a time. We're gonna hang them from this block. Then once they're hanging below me, I can just cut it below the sling here and the whole thing will swing harmlessly away. But that initial swing would obviously be coming right at my boom down here. So by hanging it down here, I can let it swing right underneath me. Let's see what happens here. Alright, that's a heavy one. See that tree waggling up there? Should be fine though. out of here. And just make this cut right here. There it goes. Alright, I'm no short little piece here. I might come down a little further, but... She's leaning straight there, right over the tip there. I'd say if I can get her off like 5, 10 degrees, she'll just graze those tips without hurting that sycamore limb. She'll probably be okay anyhow. This one I'm going to go for a, a regular notch and back cut. It's going to taper the hinge. Maybe even go with the swing Dutchman. Let's see what happens. <laughs> That's pretty 
good right there. Nice clean knot. Side the rope again. That side's going down the lowering device in the truck. Going up through that natural crossing down here. Make a rip cut. Okay, coming back to me. on this guy here who's going to swing out rip cut again let's send the tree gone we have this right whole wing over here with three big pieces that big one there that's the most concerning one so before I can swing that over here i got to get those two out of the way the two little ones i'm going to take the top one first because that way that won't interfere with the rope on the bottom one so let's take a look at how this works just a rip cut here it should swing right over got one down on the plane of the bar and slide a little direct control, control that way too. And I call this one remote trip swing. This is from a different tree, but the concept here is to put a lot of tension in that lowering line, tie it out pretty far on the branch, then make the cut and the back cut ready to go, but with the rope holding it, it won't go. So then I can back the bucket truck out, let a little slack in the line, and the piece will swing out like that. So there's the setup again. Long way to swing that way. Got this end here. We're definitely out over the pool area, both fences, but we should have plenty of clearance there. I'm not going to cut it too long, though. You got two. Nice and tight. So I'm going to rip cut it, but I'm going to put a score on it so it doesn't rip cut down there. I'm kind of worried about swinging into that sycamore limb over there. Should clear the hedges, too. cut so it doesn't rip too too far down. Yeah. 
party never ends.